So Facebook Live, which had its initial launch date in April 2015, is a great option for many clients because it brings the stream right to the timelines of their audience. When you go live, users that have liked or followed your page will be alerted via notification or pop-up. Because Facebook prioritizes live streams over other types of content, live content is more likely to appear in a user's timeline. You should still do the same amount of work to promote your Facebook live streams, but it does make it easier if you're streaming to a platform that your audience is already active on. Facebook Live offers a robust commenting and reaction feature, so your audience's reactions float on top of the live stream. Setting up and managing a stream is pretty easy, and a new paired encoder feature makes it simple to produce content for brands that may have locked down administrative privileges. Some of the difficulties at Facebook events are a not quite intuitive setup process for scheduled streams, which makes working in a con conjunction with a client's social media team very important. Also, Facebook does not allow you to edit your live stream recording. So if you wanna make sure your video starts at just the right moment for your video on demand users, you have to time the beginning of the stream just right. This timing can be a real challenge, so you'll often see Facebook events that seem to start a few seconds early or late. So like with YouTube, uh, Facebook's copyright infringement policies are very strict. Recently, there have been a lot of questionable copyright complaints that have caused viewer streams to go down in the middle of a broadcast. I heard about several streams going down because they featured a countdown timer as a graphic. So Facebook is clearly still dialing in their copyright infringement policies. So if your event may include copyrighted material, whether it's a song playing in the background or a video clip that's owned by a publishing house, it's best to steer clear of Facebook. Provided you have all your rights in order, there are plenty of other platforms available that may be better suited to your content. Alternatively, you can replace your copyrighted material with royalty-free content, and then everyone's happy. Alrighty, so Facebook is where it's at for awesome engagement features. Gotta love those hearts and smiley faces, but definitely keep in mind any copyright assets you got going on. So, let's think about this. Ease of use, three out of five. Reliability, three out of five. And engagement, four out of five. 